In a world where threats evolve faster than ever, Israel just took a giant leap into the future of warfare. The Israeli Defense Ministry has officially declared its high-powered laser interception system, known as Iron Beam, fully operational. After completing a rigorous series of final tests, the system is now set to be delivered to the military by the end of 2025. This is not science fiction. This is a real functional laser weapon designed to shoot down rockets, drones, and mortars in midair with a beam of light. According to the Defense Ministry, the tests were conducted at a southern Israeli range and included multiple live interceptions. Over several weeks, Iron Beam successfully neutralized various aerial threats with pinpoint precision. Developed by Rafael Advanced Defense Systems in partnership with the Israeli Air Force and the Directorate of Defense Research and Development, this laser weapon has been in development for over a decade, but 2025 marks the moment it transitions from lab to battlefield. Unlike traditional missile interception systems like Iron Dome, which fire physical projectiles at incoming threats, Iron Beam uses a 100-kilowatt class laser to burn through its targets in seconds. The result? Almost zero cost per shot, no need to reload, and a virtually unlimited magazine. As long as there's power. This solves a major problem in modern air defense. While Iron Dome has been effective, each missile it fires costs tens of thousands of dollars. In contrast, Iron Beam's laser beam costs just a few dollars per use. But there are limits. Lasers can struggle under certain weather conditions, like fog, rain, or dust and their range is still relatively short compared to missile interceptors. Experts estimate Iron Beam can operate over a range of several kilometers. That means it will likely complement rather than replace systems like Iron Dome and David Sling. Think of it as a new layer in Israel's multi-tiered missile defense strategy, one focused on short-range threats and cost efficiency. Strategically, this matters. As non-state actors like Hezbollah and Hamas continue to use low-cost, high-volume rocket attacks, having a scalable and inexpensive defense system becomes critical. Lasers can meet this challenge, especially in areas with frequent bombardment. Israel is pushing the envelope in military technology, setting a precedent for how future conflicts may be fought. With light-speed weapons, not just iron and fire, Iron Beam also raises broader questions. How will other countries respond? Will lasers become standard in national defense? And how will they shift the balance in regions where aerial threats are constant? As of now, Israel stands alone with a fully operational laser defense system.